uh, interesting, interesting one is this one. Hello and welcome to the nail bite experience that is coffee break. Oh yeah, coming at you. Uh, so today uh, we are going to be testing another coffee. Uh, if you've been watching the uh, series of videos uh, today, we're going to be testing the next one. It's from the packed coffee uh, advent calendar, which I got for Christmas. Uh, we are going to go through them uh, one by one. Uh, at the moment, we've uh, got up to day number five. Here we are. This is it. Buenos Aires is uh, the fifth day that we're going to be trying here. So let's have a little look about uh, Buenos Aires uh, from Colombia. It's Colombian coffee. So uh, let's see what that's going to be like. It's the first Colombian coffee in the set. Uh, so the roast is medium dark. The process is washed. Acidity is apple, which is uh, interesting. Sweetness is fructose. I'm going to say that again. Fructose. Fructose. The hints of juicy ripe red plums are complemented by a syrupy mouthfeel and undercooked by a red apple like acidity. Uh, varieties are Colombia and Castillo, and their hints of a red plum. So, uh, interesting. Interesting one is this one. Here we go. So, I am getting apple in. Let's, uh, let's throw it into the old uh, Bodum, uh, the old cafetier, uh, fresh way to brew, uh, fresh coffee and tea. So the old Bodum. Um, big fan of Bodum actually. The, uh, this thing is doing me really, really well. So uh, Bodum, big well done to you guys. Absolutely. Let's uh, get Buenos Aires into the, uh, the Bodum. Uh, incidentally, if you do hear any noise as well, Builders are in, FYI. Uh, so there we go. So, one more time, quick smell. I'm, I'm, I'm smelling sweetness, if I'm honest with you. I am getting the apple. I am getting the apple. Anywho, let's uh, add some water and uh, see where we're at with that. Here we go. So, this is uh, just water that I boiled up in the kettle. Uh, fresh London tap water. Uh, filtered over and over again because uh, London has got way too much lime scale in the water for my liking anyway. So I'm going to let that do its thing. I'm going to go and uh, get the spoon. Once uh, once again I have forgotten the spoon so I am going to go and get it. Uh, bear with me, talk amongst yourselves. Alright and welcome back. So we've uh, let that do its brewing. Um, let that do its brewing for uh, a few minutes now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the slurp test. So as ever, just get a little bit of uh, coffee on the spoon, and we're just going to do a little slurper. Ooh! Straight away, that's quite bitter. It's quite bitter, but it is quite, it's quite nice actually. Quite nice at the end. Just to uh, let you know that we're going to be judging it on six different things. The categories that we're going to be judging are aroma, sweetness, taste, uh, mouthfeel, the bitterness, and the aftertaste. All going to be marked out of five. If it's good, it's going to be getting the five. If it's not so good, it's going to get the one. Everything in between, uh, which gives it a total score of something out of 30. Uh, that will be then added into the chart uh, that looks like this. And then we'll uh, overall get our final and nicest coffee at the end of the 25 once we've got through it all. So, Let's go for a quick taste here. Here we go. Let's do a little bit of judging. The aroma is really nice, actually. Mm. That is really quite smooth. Really, really quite smooth. As ever, there's a different taste when it comes to the, uh, the spoon tasting, the slurp taste, um, compared to the actual drinking of the coffee. It's completely different tastes altogether. That is really quite smooth, actually. That is really, really quite smooth. A little bit of bitterness at the end there. That is really, really quite nice. So let's uh, let's do some judging on this one then. So here we go. So uh, on aroma, it has a really nice aroma. Right at the beginning, we uh, did I did pick up the apple uh, scents. Uh, so with the aroma, I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to give it a four on that. Uh, four, four, four. Yes, that's uh, four on that. Then we're going to go for the sweetness. Um, an interesting one because it is bitter but it is also sweet and that that is a contradictory statement I know however that's how it is it's bitter but also sweet it's 
bitter when you swallow it, but sweet on the aftertaste. Mm. I'm going to give it a three for uh, sweetness because we are going to get to aftertaste in a little while, so we'll just check it out in a second. Uh, so that's a three on that. Uh, so taste, taste. It's quite bitter, quite harsh when you're drinking it. I'm going to give it a three again. No, I'm going to change it. I'm going to give it a four. Uh, the mouthfeel is really, really nice as well. It's not overly uh, imposing. There is a bitterness to it. I'm going to give it a three. I'm going to give that a three. Um, bitterness. Now, here we go. Bitterness. Um, it is quite bitter. Is it a good thing? It's debatable. But the bitterness for me is quite a nice thing within this coffee. So I'm going to give the bitterness, I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to give that a four. And then let's come to uh, the last one, the aftertaste. I'm going to have another slurp. Really, really quite smooth actually. It's not an overpowering aftertaste. It's, it's really quite warming. So uh, I'm going to give that a four again. And let's tally up here. So we've got, uh, I can't remember, I didn't even write it down. But I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll add it all up in the edit, and uh, this is the score out of 30, right here. So uh, let's have a look how it compares on the leaderboard. Uh, to my knowledge, I think it's done quite well. There's a couple of fours in there, um, if not three fours and a couple of threes, so it's round about 4, 8, 12, uh, 15, 18, who knows? There's the score. There it is. And that is out of 30. And it is a really nice coffee. Really, really nice coffee. Um, it's not overpowering. And there you have it. So uh, we have reached a milestone now. We are 5 out of 25. So that makes us uh, on our way there. We're a fifth of the way through. Are we? Yeah, we're a fifth. We're a fifth of the way through. Um, so we're going to carry on. We're going to get through all 25. And at the end of it, the idea is to uh, get an idea of the kind of coffee that I like when I am drinking coffee. So. Um, there we go, that is Buenos Aires. Big well done to uh, uh, Jose Ramon Colesos and Maria del Rosario. So, uh, big well done to you guys. Uh, big, big fan of that one. That was really, really nice. And so, there you have it. That is uh, coffee number five in our set. Um, if you are new here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next thrilling installment of Coffee Break.